Two and a half minutes remaining. I yield myself uh, two minutes, um, Mr. Chairman. Gentleman's recognized. Let me just lay out this Office of Global Women's Issues. First of all, by law, by virtue of the Helms Amendment and the Siljander Amendment and the Leahy Amendments, it cannot, and by practice, it does not and has no intention of serving as a vehicle for either abortion policy or coercive abortion. What does it do? It's dedicated to ensuring that women around the world can realize their potential by fully participating in the political, economic, and cultural lives of their societies. Women are around the, around the globe, and the gentleman from New Jersey knows this. Women are brought and sold like commodities and trafficked across international borders for sexual exploitation. Young children are married off to men old enough to be their grandfathers and have their education and their childhood abruptly ended. Girls have their bodies mutilated in the name of cultural tradition, leading to complications in childbearing and lifelong pain and incontinence. Young women are slain by their own families perceived for perceived and sometimes fictitious infractions simply because they are viewed less as human beings, that is, symbols of human power, honor. Women who are be become infected with HIV, often because of the infidelity of their spouses, are shunned, lose their livelihoods, or do not have access to the medicines that could prolong their lives and prevent transmission of the virus to their children. I say to the gentleman, these, these causes and these concerns that I've mentioned have always been at the forefront of the gentleman's own concerns. And to hold this entire bill and this office hostage to a desire to change abortion law, I think is unfair. I scrupulously avoided, and the committee Democrats scrupulously avoided, uh, any effort to change that law in the other direction. And I think it is wrong to be trying to hold this bill, hijack, hijack this bill, to hold it hostage for those purposes. And I yield back to balance. Well, the gentleman's well, I, I, 